Welcome back guys, it's your boy The Ace back with another Flipper special. So in 2024, where do we stand with the Flipper Zero? So following the lead of countries like Brazil and platforms such as Amazon, now Canada has jumped on the bandwagon to ban the Flipper Zero. A very bold move based on zero evidence I might add. Obviously the Flipper's popularity has resulted in the device being named as a target in the national summit for combating auto theft where the canadian government claims without any evidence that the device is being used to steal cars what a f***ing joke there are way more advanced tools out there and i won't be naming them that can facilitate such a task that's the rant for the start of 2024 today we'll be diving into a nice announcement i might say for the gaming spectrum and world for the flipper zero they just dropped a raspberry pi collab which looks to open a lot of doors especially in the retro and sensor based gaming world so buckle up turn up those speakers and let's, and go. let's go first off i was surprised by this drop because as many of you know, the Ace has reviewed the Flipper from day dot and I've been waiting for the gaming section of the device to get more love and TLC from the developers and I'm glad it's happened now. So they've clamped on this module, which is a mini powerhouse in all respects. It's running a Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller and yep, that's the same chip you find in the Pi Pico. But here's where it kind of gets spicy. They've gone all out. On this microcontroller and even provided a slight overclocking boost now this will allow the device to generate a video signal which in turn provides a video output this means you can connect it to your tv or mirror your flipper zero onto another external screen bringing your gaming and app experience to a different level but that's not all the module itself isn't just about giving you a bigger or mirrored screen of the device it's also equipped with motion tracking sensors which opens the door to many capabilities not just within the gaming sphere i would imagine i'm sure there's going to be projects out there white hat or black hat that can utilize these different tools and obviously what i like about the team at fc is that they've left the firmware and the schematics completely open source which again will build on the community around the flipper and then sub communities around what i'd imagine is be retro gaming and gaming in itself technical spec breakdown now the microcontroller is powered like i mentioned by the raspberry pi rp2040 featuring a dual core amr cortex mo plus processor that clocks up to a 133 megahertz now in terms of sensors and ports we're talking about 264 kilobytes of SRAM and a TDK ICM 42688P gyroscope and accelerometer for a sweet motion tracking. It also comes equipped with a USB C port and DVID video out port for that crisp 640 by 480 pixels running at 60 megahertz video output now this bad boy again is built for connectivity the module is built to blend seamlessly with the flipper zero sporting a sturdy case that supports the weight of the heavy video cable ensuring the setup stays nice and clean now in terms of installing the module the video game module itself is designed to fit clean like a glove on the flipper itself comes equipped with a silicon bumper if you already don't have a custom case on it now in terms of firmware before you can even start using the video game module it requires the flipper to be running firmware 0.98.3 or later and you can obviously download this straight from the q flipper or using the app development now for the devs out there they are sharing the game engine itself to speed up game development, which I love. Link in the description below. And it's complete with the motion sensor tracking drivers. And true to the open community sense, the firmware and schematics are fully available on GitHub to tinker, improve and adapt to any project you might have. 
Now, in terms of how you cop this, you can go to Joom. I'm sure other retailers are out there around Europe. I know Lab 401 are also sporting this bad boy. So get it while it's hot. Conclusion. For me, this just opens the door to, again, another spectrum of work. Whether that's going to be some sort of augmented reality gaming mix using the motion tracking capabilities, not just to control games, but also interact with maybe virtual elements and overlay that with real world objects like we're seeing with the Apple Vision Pro. We might even see custom gaming consoles where communities may design or build custom gaming consoles based on the video game module on the Flipper Zero. I would love to see something like that get started. Again, maybe some smart home integration given its capability to interface with various electronic sensors. The video game module could even evolve into some sort of central hub for home applications. There could be a possibility also for health and fitness applications where the motion tracking sensor developers could create games or apps focused around health and fitness. That would be quite nice. Art and music, definitely I've got a DJ in background as it is module could inspire the creation of some sort of arts or music software leveraging the gyroscope and accelerometer for maybe some different type of input methods and let's not forget what it is it's a video game module i would love to see more enhanced games that you could play possibly on the go or just plug and play them onto an external monitor something like zelda original metal gear solid or final fantasy of that sort of games of that kind i want to see on the flipper zero definitely that was the aces initial review for the video game module for the flipper zero make sure you copy it stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out